as Reading grows as a town and people are moving about at all times of the day and night, our bus service needs to serve them. And the 17 is the most important road in the town. It's been uh, growing uh, consistently over the last uh, five years and the time has come when we want to extend our offer into the whole of the 24 hour period so that whenever people want to travel there's always a 17 somewhere near. The buses that are uh, have one key element which is that they are powered by bioethanol which is uh, derived from sugar waste but also the bus that we're sitting in now has uh, a number of features. It has a new type of seat which is very different to sitting and uh, is designed to be easy to keep very clean and very good. It has audio announcements uh, that actually tell people what the name of the next stop is. Uh, it's very reassuring for people who are new in the area and for blind people as great importance. Uh, and upstairs the uh, buses are fitted with a chiller so that on hot days uh, temperature will be kept down to a comfortable level. We're talking today uh, on a day when the price of oil has just been announced at $129 a barrel and it's gone up since we started thinking about this this project. Our bioethanol is sourced from sugar waste. It comes from a factory in Norfolk, a place called Whissington. It's entirely uh, derived from uh, material that effectively isn't being used for anything else and uh, it's entirely British as well. Uh, hidden around this vehicle are cameras facing in every angle. We can see what's going on on this bus all the time and we can come back afterwards and look and we can identify people and since that system was put into our buses uh, with the Premier routes coming on stream from 2004, the number of incidents that we've had are actually very small. We're still developing our evening network to increase the frequency of our evening services. We're gradually doing that and we'll continue that process um, and also our Sunday buses. So if this works well, yes it could be a blueprint for the rest of the network. But the idea of a 24-7 service, well the 17th is the first one of those, and we'll see how we get on.